everyone uh, welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well and staying safe my name is helene and i just got up um good morning so i'm gonna record everything um today is a big day i have my ielts exam today and i'm gonna record everything um i'm a little bit nervous because it's my first ever ielts exam and it's 7 a.m uh, right now and my exam starts at 9 but i have to reach there by 8 so i'm gonna get ready really quickly and uh, i'll eat an apple and some eggs I'm already duck there if you don't know we have to give ielts exam before um, like we apply for our pr we have to give general training training exam but before we come to canada we give uh, academic test but now because i have to apply for my pr sometime soon so I am giving my general test and I'm very nervous because this is my first ever IELTS exam. I hope um vadiya hove and uh, yeah I'm going to quickly choose my clothes to wear and then I'm get I'm going to get ready. The fir appa jaavange I'll show you everything ki kitna kitna hum. It's a 3 hours like reading, uh writing and listening and then I have my speaking after like 1 hour. So I'll be done around 2 p.m. It starts at 9 and I'll be done at 2 p.m. Guys, I'm all ready. मैं इतना ही बस लेगिंग्स विद टॉप पाके जा रही हूँ। I'm going to have apples and eggs because उसे जाके पुख लग जुगी। Three hours का एग्जाम है, so yeah, and होने में बाकी दी वीडियो जाके बनाऊँगी। Until then, take care. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing fine and staying safe. My name is Harleen, and on this channel, I create content about student life in Canada and just about my life here in Canada. Well, you must have seen the video I recent. I recently gave my uh, general training IELTS exam as it is one of the mandatory requirements for uh, for PR application here in Canada. It was my first time giving IELTS exam because I didn't give one before I was like when I was coming to Canada. It was back in 2016. I did. I have a video if you want to watch how I came to Canada without that. I was really really nervous that day and finally my results are out. I'm gonna share how much band did I get uh, in each uh, module and it was my overall grade. I'm gonna share that and also the tips on how I prepare. Let's get into the video. Um, so general training, uh, you need to give that exam for your PR application here in Canada. It is valid for two years, so I just gave it. So as per CEC, which is Canadian Experience Class, uh, you need to have minimum of six band each to uh, in IELTS, or you need to have CLB level seven to be eligible for uh, for PR under skilled worker class. Uh, there are two modes, which is online and offline. I chose offline because I don't know, I'm just like a little bit old school, like I prefer on paper rather than on a computer. So I gave it offline. Um, then uh, you have four modules just like you have for academic, which is reading, writing, listening and speaking. Um, so my goal was to get triple seven, eight, which is seven, seven, seven each and then uh, eight in one of the uh, one of the modules. Um, because the reason was if you get triple seven eight, you get additional points when you're applying for your for for your PR under CEC class, you get additional points. So I would really recommend if you're giving your general training exam, aim for triple seven eight that will increase your score by up to 50, 50 points. Well, my overall grade was 7.5. Um, I got 8.5 in my listening eight in my reading um and then seven seven both in my speaking and my writing i found listening easier obviously which is why i got 8.5 listening was a bit easier um and uh, i found uh, writing to be a little bit hard um yeah and i'm gonna share how i prepared so let's get into that first for your reading um i would say there are a lot of different websites um available online where they have a lot of different paragraphs that you can practice um the what one thing that i followed was look at the questions first um and then skim through the paragraph because some, you won't get enough time to read the entire paragraph and look at the questions so first look at the questions and then skim that way you'll know if there's any question related to the line that you're reading right uh, there are some exceptions like there are some questions based on um like where you have to find the headings of the paragraph in that case you will have to read the entire paragraph but for most of the questions, you can just skip. Um, so it's a little bit easier compared to academic, but I would obviously recommend that do practice. There are a lot of uh, free websites uh, that 
provide these paragraphs and as well as the answers questions and answers so prepare those uh, even when you uh, register for the exam through idp or british council's website they have about two to three free exams uh, like full exam reading writing listening and speaking you can you also need to get like practice those so you get an idea of how the exam format is like and what are different types of paragraphs that you could get that's for reading second uh, is speaking so for speaking uh, you need to focus on your fluency they won't be really checking at your um, at your grammar um, so just try to keep in mind just be fluent you can take some time to think before you answer so take your time maybe a minute or two they'll give you uh, that time to think if if required just make up some points as well they'll give you a paper and pen as well don't st take pauses in between that won't look good um, so and practice as much as you can if you have any friends or relatives try to uh, practice with them try to speak in english with them now that we are talking about speaking practice there is one amazing platform that i highly recommend to everyone who is looking to practice english with some of the top tutors from around the globe so it is called cambly which is one of the best um, platforms for english speaking once you register you'll get a chance to interact with some of the top english tutors across the globe that will that will give you that live experience of uh, speaking in english uh, interacting with them and understanding different accents because there are tutors from different parts of the world you can have conversations with that will really help you uh, build up that confidence if you think you're not enough confident that will help you build up the confidence um and much more i recently had a chat with one of their tutors and my experience was amazing so you can get a weekly yearly and monthly subscriptions um the link is down in the description box below do check it out they have a website as well as an app um do check it out uh, subscribe if you would want to practice your english speaking and if you don't have anyone to practice with this is the right platform for you so hurry check it out right now the link is in the description box below okay. so that was for speaking third uh, for listening uh, for listening you have to be really attentive like i highly recommend that do some listening practice there are some youtube channels um you can check they have like entire audio along with the questions and answers there are a few websites as well uh, um also idp and british council when you register they also provide you those free tests that you can give so be try to be attentive and before the audio starts so they'll give you headsets that you need to wear and they will only play the audio once so i would highly recommend that before the audio starts you take a look at the question so that you have an idea of uh, what the questions uh, are and what you could uh, listen attentively in the audio itself so skim the questions and then listen the audio and be attentive that is the key next is our writing so the key to writing is to complete on time in a timely manner because they and also you need to focus on the ideas that you're presenting you need to have good ideas and the way you paraphrase is, is really important so first is once you have the topic make the key points and then elaborate on that each point be clear and concise and do practice like put a timer and start writing and keep and focus on your vocab as well so there are two main writings one is you have to write a letter it could be a formal letter or it could be an informal letter second is uh, they'll give you um, like a um, where you have to write a paragraph it could be like agree or disagree so they'll give you a statement and they'll say okay whether you agree or disagree with the following statement and you have to provide your reasons so write up the points that you want to elaborate in that paragraph first write your ideas and then start a writing that each each point that you have written so make a clear picture like a road map of uh, the ideas that you want to present um, and then elaborate accordingly that way it will be really clear to to the person who will be reading it and concise as well so try uh, that's pretty much it for today's video i hope you guys liked it if you did please give a thumbs up and i will be back with more such videos and make sure you check out cambly's platform the link is in the description box below bye